frustrating loss. You know, we've had these, had two now. Um, and uh, we just can't play team football, can't bring it together. Uh, one side of the ball has highlighted moments and the other side, uh, you know, stumbles and, um, you know, some missed opportunities. And then, you know, you try to try to look inward and, and uh, after every game. And, uh, you know, we got to continue to do the same. I know we got a locker room that's that's hurting. Um, I feel like it's, you know, there's there's always, I guess, a common a common feel uh, in the locker room after a loss. But, uh, you know, these guys, I have no doubt in my mind that they poured everything into the preparation. Um, you know, just, just frustrated we can't get over the hump. Thanks, Coach. Let's start with John here on the right. Keelan, on that fourth and 22 call, what was the thought process behind that? Well, I mean, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things that can go, you know, for you. I mean, it's either way, it's going to be a punt and you're going to get the ball back, you know, if you stop them. Uh, and you're going to have to have a touchdown either way on our end. If we can just hold them to a field goal, you're going to have to get a stop on three straight plays, use your three timeouts. And so, um, you know, it can go both ways, right? Uh, but you're more than likely, if you stop them, going to get the punt back and have to go the length of the field anyway. And so, you know, you're getting yourself one more play. And uh, um, you know they did a good job checking out, of, checking out, in and out of something. Uh, you know, it's a chance for us. Uh, I know what it looks like when you watch it, but there's a there's a there's a game plan reason. Uh, you know where we would do something. Where I understand where you're throwing shorts to the sticks as well. So um, you know, hats off to them. They they played it the way they needed to, um, adjusted, and. Uh, you know, I could burn a timeout, you know, when we're in that situation because I knew we needed a three for the next play or for the for the defensive sequence when we got to that. Nick? Yeah, penalties improved some in the second half, but what, what do you think is leading to some stumbles? In the yeah, game? it's a little bit of everything. Sorry. Uh, it's a little bit of everything, right? It's it's uh, false starts, you know, just getting off to a, a rough start there. Um, and, you know, then there's a couple more intermix in there. Um, there's some, some metal mistakes. Um, you know, it's it's you know the, the two the two games right uh, earlier in the year and this one, um, you just can't get over the hump, and it's going to put you in situations uh, where you got your backs to the wall, and um, we can't kill ourselves like that. Uh, there's times where you see like we're we're locked in, um, but we got to be we got to be better. We got to be better. There's no question. I mean, you can't win a football game when you have mistakes like we had out there and all the penalties. Yeah, yeah, they're, I mean, they're a physical defense up front, you know, and we knew we have to have a mix of, of run and pass and, uh, you know, try to try to use uh, uh, J Mill um, in the run game as well, um, you know, but just trying to get a flow, trying to trying to find uh, times where you can get in a rhythm uh, the penalties hurt us, you know, to where you're behind the sticks and, um, you know, trying to stay patient. You're trying to, uh, even at the end, not the last drive, but the second to last drive, uh, try to stay with it and know that if you can just put one play on top of the other, you know, you can move the ball down the field. But there's just that when you don't have the explosives, it's just too hard to stack plays a whole length of the field. You have to have some type of explosive play. Go to the left side, Alex. This is a program that's not accustomed to losing a couple games at this point in the season. Players that are not accustomed to it. What's your message to them coming out of something like this that Frank was just not used to? Yeah, I mean, I told them in there. I mean, this is these are the speeches I'm not good at, you know. And um, you know, there's there's inward, you know, uh, that you, you got to look inward first and uh, make sure, you know, that everything you're doing is is right and then you know anyone that you sense that uh that has any type of questioning um you got to make sure you bring them with and the thing i know that with our guys there's there's enough vets that uh know exactly what you're talking about to where um it eats at them um and we got to continue to mesh the vets with the new guys uh the ones that um need you know need to continue to understand what this what this program stands for and what it's all about um, I, you know, I don't question the fight. I mean, I don't question the prep. I don't question the work that put, was put in. I mean, these guys, these guys, uh, you know, came came ready. And, and Tuesday's practice was great uh, as far as the energy, and uh, really felt like we were on track each and every day. But uh, 
we just can't mesh right now the offense and defense together uh, and play great team football. There's times when we've got to be able to separate ourselves and have that killer instinct. And uh, right now, you know, we don't do that. And it's not like they're not trying. It's just the execution needs to be better. And, you know, one play can kill an offensive drive, uh, you know, and then defense does a nice job and then they get into their tempo, which we knew, you know, if we kept them out of that rhythm, uh, we'd be all right. Um, they got into it there uh, the third quarter and, uh, you know, it was tough to stop. It starts with running the football for them. Tony, go ahead. Yeah, I know we talked to you about getting Brian Williams the ball and the emphasis on that. I think he had some like point targets. Is, is there a worry that there's there was too much of a reliance or too much of trying to maybe force him the ball today? No, I don't think so. I mean, I think that some of them, there is an intentional uh, element to making sure he's part of the game plan. And then uh, some of it was just, uh, you know, the progressions and where where it ended up. Um, you know, unfortunately, we just had a, a couple misses, right? I mean, we hit one or two of those. Uh, you know, um, the, the interception early in the game, uh, you know, we had a good little rhythm right there. I mean, some of those hurt, but uh, you have to have confidence in your players to continue to go back and go make the next play. And uh, we obviously have a lot of belief in every one of our players. Um, you know, he's a guy that can go go make those plays anytime. So we got to continue to make sure he's a, a strong part of the game plan. Last question here, Ryan. Coach, we struggled the last few games, but with a lot of football left to play. What's the message to the fan base after this loss? Well, I told the guys, and so the, you know, the message to to them is, you know, you know, get get back after it and get to work, and and first of all, do some soul searching, right, and and look inward. And um, I know there's enough guys that that still believe, that still want to, uh, you know, go go do what we want to do. Um, you know, there's a lot of season left for not just us, but everyone. And uh, it's going to go fast if we don't take advantage of it. That urgency has got to be there. There's no question. And, uh, you know, we get a chance to get back home, but we got to go to work first before we play that game and find a way to take the next big jump. Um, you know, a lot of guys uh, that, that we got to now incorporate into schemes offensively and defensively just with some some guys going down. So, uh, you know, they're, they're getting an opportunity right now, too, to to help build depth, um, but we got to make the plays to go win right now, and uh, that's where we're just falling short. So, um, you know, make sure our minds are right, make sure our heights, hearts in the right place, and then all I know is that you just go back to work. That's the only thing you can do, and that's what I've always done, and that's what these guys, you know, just having a talk in the locker room, uh, really firmly believe that that's what they want to do too. And so. You know, don't lose belief in these guys because uh, there's a lot of guys making some big sacrifices um, in ways that, you know, you'll never know. Uh, people will never know uh, because um, they just keep plugging away and uh, might be physical things and stuff like that. But, um, you know, they're, they're working hard and they have a lot of pride in who they are individually and who we are as Alabama. Thank you, Coach. We'll be joined shortly with the players.